Hello fellow hunters of the blue and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to paint a blue power shot as cool as this one. This is also the recipe I used to paint this sexy lady. The dress on that model was painted with the exact same recipe I'm using here, of course with a different application as it is obviously not, not a sword. But if you like it, just try this a very cool recipe for blue. Let's get cracking. As always, I have my base coat applied, in this case is a Thousand Suns Blue, a nice coat of that, and we are... You can do power swords or magic swords in a lot of different ways, but for this one I'm going to go with the simplest one, which is one highlight and one shadow in each face. So for the first highlight I'm using Tempered God Blue, and I'm going to highlight the lighter part here and doing roughly half of the sword apply as many coats of you as you need to build up the tempered cut blue to the desired opacity as you can see, the the transition is a bit harsh, so now we apply thousand tons blue in the other direction as a glaze, like so. I will do probably two or three coats that will smooth out the transition perfectly. As you can see, those glazes have made the transition really nice. And now I'm going to apply the final highlight to the bright spots. And this will be Gauss Blaster Green. As a glaze again, be very patient. Build this slowly. You may think the choice of doing green is weird, but green adds yellow to the mix. And yellow, it's amazing. One of the things that yellow does is boost the in, the intensity and the light on the model. Keep doing this until you reach to the pure Gauss Blaster Green. As you can see, the Gauss Blaster Green is now up to its full opacity. If you need to smooth the transition, just do as we did previously with the Thousand Suns Blue and just apply Tempered God Blue over the transition, but I am really happy with it. Now we are going to apply the shadows. For this I'm using a mix, 50-50 mix, of uh, Vallejo Game Inks uh, Green and Blue. This will make for a very nice and intense turquoise. And apply it to the opposing sides. Build this in several layers. Keep doing this, slowly building up the layers and the opacity of the inks until you're happy with it. Our inks and now dry and apply enough layers that I'm happy with the opacity and the intensity. And now I'm going to boost the contrast a bit more, applying another glaze with black over just the very tip of the sword. And of course, the other side as well. We have our black now dry, and now I'm going to etch, highlight all the sword using Gauss Buster Green. Just use the side of your brush, drag it across the edge of the sword. For the central ridge you can do the same, but you have to be very careful. Of 
suppose you can only do this if the rich is pronounced enough. You find it difficult doing that way. Just use the tip of your brush. With our etching of Gauss Blaster Green Finish, we're moving to the last step, and this will be another edge highlight using white. You can use whatever white you want, but if you are intelligent, you would use white ink. Try to leave some of the Gauss Blaster Green showing but it's not a big deal if you cover most of it. Now our etching of white is done, we're going to move to an optional step. This will be to add some uh, light reflections with white. And this is freehand, so if you're not confident, just undo it. Do very thin lines. You have to be careful. All these lines will have to be in the same direction. All over the sword. So with that last step, the sword is finished, I just painted a couple of details for you to see the whole effect in context. So as always, I hope you liked the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.